Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at using the View Transitions API, but in a declarative way, so not using any JavaScript. What I've got is a small image here, thumbnail one. When I click on this, I want it to display uh, a larger image. And using the View Transitions API, we should be able to get the animation between the two looking a lot smoother and nicer, rather than this, what we have at the moment, where it just sort of blacks this image up in front of us. Okay, so yeah, we've got a small image and a large image there. To, to follow along with this, um, it's only behind a flag at the moment within Chrome Canary. So in Canary, you would need to come into um, Chrome Flags and enable the view transitions API and the view transitions API for navigations. Um, it is a W3C uh, working draft, so hopefully it is coming to all browsers in the near future, but at the moment, yep, as I said, just behind the flag. Um, right, so let's have a look at what we would need to do to declaratively enable view transitions for this this page. So we're on, we're on index here. When we click on it, we're going to a new page with just a larger image. What we'd like it to do is zoom out to it, so it'll look quite cool. Okay, um, first thing we need to do is declare a meta tag on both of our pages, the, the old and the new page. Um, so on here, on the initial page, we need a tag and we need to say the name is view transition and we need to say um, content is same origin like so and then on the page that we're navigating to we need to do exactly the same so we have a name and we'd say um, view transition and then content is same origin. Okay, so that lets the browsers know that we'd like to use view transitions between these pages. If we look at it now, nothing much will have changed just yet. I'll bring this back up and click here. So it's still just doing this blast of the image each time we navigate. Um, but what we can do now is tell the browser um, which elements are the same on the old page and the new page, which ones correspond to the same image. And we can tag them um, to allow us to do this. So on our image here, here's our image, the small image, and here's our large image. So on the small image, we're gonna tag it. We're gonna, on the style, we will say view transition name, and we'll just say smudge on there. And we just need a little boilerplate as well, where we say contain layout. Okay, and just try and tidy it up a little bit. And then we need to do the same on the new page. We need to tell it that this is the same image because then it can uh, animate that image between the two pages. So on here we do the same, we do style, and we're gonna say view transition name is smudge and we're going to do contain layout like that right we save both of those off so we've got our tag we've got the the name tag view transition on both pages and then on our image we've tagged it with the name smudge on both of these all right so let's have a look now what that does so i click on it now you can now see that it's it's zooming in, it's, it's animating the size and position of this element. If I go back, you can see it zooms back in there, uh, like so. You can make it a little bit more obvious. Um, you can actually customize these. I won't go into this too much detail now because that's another video. But what you can do is you can you can because these are just CSS animations. You can override them. Um, we can go view transition um, group and specify smudge and say our animation duration is actually four seconds. Uh, this needs to be in a style tag. Like so, and if I run this now, we should see when we go to, um, oh, hold on, I need that there. When we do this transition, this one should be a lot slower. So you can see this curve here now very slow. 
Uh, and when I go back, it's still using the default because we haven't overridden that uh, that animation on on that direction. Um, but as we click on this, you can see this one's taking four seconds, and it's doing that animation for you. So, yeah, you've got that ability. But that's that's as I say, another video. So, yeah, to to, to declaratively set this up, so we don't need any JavaScript. We just need to let me just take this out so we can see it. We just need to add the meta tag view transition on both pages and then we need to specify which elements correspond to the same element on each page and you do that by specifying a view transition name um, and give it a name smudge there uh, i did do a video showing the javascript version uh, earlier i'll put a link to that here in case you're interested but otherwise that is the uh the basics of using view transition with declarative uh, implementation. Hope that was interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.